Hey guys, we're back here again. CC312. It is like probably the one of the best welders you can get for now. Uh, I think I paid like 200 to 300 dollars to this one. It is uh really thin. I mean, it's probably like 5 inches thin or thick and it has a TIG welder, MIG welder and it has a plasma cutter. Um, it has a very, like, variable settings, like, it has a lot of settings on it. This is where you plug in for the plasma or TIG welder for the power. This is the ground, this is, or, this is the ground, this is the positive. This is the air, where the air comes out for the plasma cutter. Yeah, so anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, it has a vent side, or vent on the sides there has a vent on the sides all the stickers don't come on obviously the power on and off is pretty nice I mean it's pretty durable I think it has an overheating light on it so I'll tell you if you're overheating it has on both sides the vent it's pretty nice I'll tell you right here let me wipe it off let's see if you guys can read this oh you will not be able to read that the flash is on. Nope. No blano. Nope. Sorry guys. But yeah, it has a cooling fin on the back. Um, it catches all the moisture. Tells you your PSI you're running at. And it has a level. It's a pretty nice level. And this is where you hook your air compressor up. That's one thing I don't like about it. That was so good. The... I'd rather have like a, a fitting that you can press on the the air hose on it instead of just clamping on the air hose because I had a lot of issues with that. I noticed a lot of other people had issues with this too. But yeah, other than that, it runs pretty good. My brother, he welded a lot. He, uh, what is this? Mm. Yeah, so the leads are pretty far on it. They're not a bad lead. You can do as much as you want. You got, it's a 220 or 110 welder. These leads for the TIG welder are pretty long. They're like five feet long. And the lead for the, oh geez. I can't get at it. You blocked me in. Oh, your eyes are glowing. What? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, take my word, the leads are long. Longer than a lot of welders, other welders out there. That's a big thing when I like weld, or before I buy welding, or, pardon me. Fucking, uh, before I buy uh, welders, I like knowing how long the leads are before I buy them, because... A lot of the times I buy welders and the leads are too short. Like, what the heck? But, anyways, look at this. Check that out. Broke that vise right in half. So thick. Pretty crazy. Like, look at this. Punk! <laughs> oh, yeah. Got some greasy old cams, some clutch, a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, back to this. It's a nice little unit. I'd recommend it if it was the first time getting a unit. The first time ever even owning a unit. I get one of these because, I mean, this is probably the third or fourth, third, jeez, third welder I've owned and it runs good. Like, it's probably the best one. I sold the other ones because I've gotten this I've gotten this one and it's just performed or outperformed every other one. So I just gotten this one and stuck with this one. If I could I would get another one. Actually I got this one like two years ago. Three <laughs> actually Jesus. That was probably like two two and a half years ago. Holy cow. 
Yeah, two and a half years ago. Thing fires right up. Runs good. I never even had to put on the 220 for how, like, strong it is. Like, even on extension cords, a lot of people tell me, like, if I put my welder on extension cord, it'll, like, take a lot of the power out because however long you have the extension cord, it'll take more power out. But, yeah, it it didn't. Like, it, it runs pretty good. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. I'm not sponsored by CT312s or whatever. They're great welders. I wish I was sponsored by them. You know, because obviously I'm broke, but it'll save a lot of money. You know, I love welding. I can definitely throw down a bead with this thing. Comment below if you need anything welded anywhere close in New Hampshire. I mean, I'm around, you know. Let me know. Comment below what you think. If you guys got anything to say about it, then say it. I would like to know. Look at this doggy. I got her a... Uh, it's a salmon stick. Actually, it's a salmon skin. It's a skin off a of salmon, and, like, you can buy them at your local, like, farm store. It They stink. They are so stinky. They stink, like, really bad. Rotted fish. Dogs love them. She's only nine months old. Look how big her paws are. Holy cow. She's gonna be a big girl. <laughs> oh, babies. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see this update on this. That's a Husky air tool. It's probably one of the best air tools I've ever owned. I mean, I'm always saying I got the best things, but... I try to always get the best things for the price, and I shop around a bunch before I buy the thing. So I know, like, what I can get for the price and what's available for the price, you know. This thing's pretty rugged. I had it for, like, two or three years, two years. It's pretty good. Like, I can break lug nuts right off with this damn thing, anything I want. I mean, like... I only ran into a couple bolts that this thing never fucking took off, but, you know, it, it took off a lot of bolts that I wouldn't even think about taking off without a big, big, big breaker bar. Just let me know. I would do a video on it if you guys want me to. It's a great tool. Definitely cheap. I think I paid like 150 bucks for it, but I'll get back to that if you guys want to know. Just let me know. All right. Have a good one, guys. Before I go, check this out. Diesel eyes in itself. That bar is done. Yeah, still MS 170. See my cuts. <laughs> that bar is so hot. See my flakes. Oh, that's not that hot. <laughs> Have a good one.